the ocean Episode whatever is on the screen right now. Today we are going to be drinking Harvester Cabernet Sauvignon. It is out of Paso Robles or Paso Robles, Robles, Paso Robles, a place in California. Um, I think I've had this. I think, I think I tried it at a tasting at Total Wine, but I don't, I, I don't remember. I, I seriously cannot remember if I've tried it before. If I have, I don't remember anything about it. I think it's, I think I got it on sale for about 15 bucks, but it, it, regular price is about 20. Yeah, so give it a, give it a whirl, shall we? tasting hat. So like I said, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon and yeah, let's see if I like it. So right out the gate, it I'm getting a lot of cherry on this wine. It smells like it's it's got it's got some minerality on there, so I think it's gonna be a little more tannic. Yeah, some minerality and cherry, that those are the two main main notes that I'm that I'm picking up. This is a thicker wine, so I'm assuming it's higher in alcohol content. Um, oh, no, not really. It's 13.5, so not, not super strong. It's pretty, it's pretty. It's got a nice dark ruby color, and yeah, it smells, it smells like I'm gonna like it, but there's only one way to find out, so. What's up? Taste. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So there's def definitely a uh, a more present cherry taste. It does. It tastes like it smells. There is kind of this stony minerality underneath that. And uh, something else, kind of like a, like there's a subtle hint of like oak or something like this oaky flavor on there. Um, yeah, it's, it, the wine is, the wine is tannic. It does, it does have a, have a nice little grip factor there. It's not really acidic. There, there's no, there's no bite in the back of my throat. Yeah, it's not, it's not burning. So uh, like we've established, it's not high in alcohol content. So it's not, there's no burn. Or anything like that. It's okay, I think. For for the if this if you can get this for fifteen or under, I'd be super stoked with it. But for twenty bucks, I honestly I'd rather get like a Penfold to Max's cab. I think that's better. This is just kind of it's just okay. It's not super flavorful. Uh, I mean, it's not terribly complex. Like, like I said, the only two things that I'm really picking up is cherry and uh, that minerality, which is fine for a less expensive wine, but if I'm gonna spend 20 or more, then I'm, I want something else going on. You know, there's just, yeah, it's just okay. My uh, final review for this, for the $20 price is a thumbs down. For 15 and under, it would be a thumbs up. But overall, I'm just kind of meh on it. So, had a bust this week, but it is what it is. And that's why I try these, so you don't have to spend your money on them if you don't want. So, thanks for joining us this week. Come back next week, and maybe we'll have something. So, thank you. Bye-bye.